Hey YouTube, White Boy here, and I am back in Atlanta from Chattanooga. At Tobacco World, and I uh, just wanted to tell you that my girlfriend and I had an absolute blast in Chattanooga. We had a wonderful, wonderful weekend enjoying all the sights and uh, visiting with her mother. And her aunt and her uncle, really sweet people. And like, like I said, we just had a great time going in and around Chattanooga, taking in all the sights. It's a great little town. It's eclectic, which I love. It's got a what I call a bohemian touch, which is uh, it's something that appeals to me very strongly. And I'm here enjoying a La Flor Dominicana Double Hero 700 60 ring gauge and Piper Jr. I blame you. You turn me on to these because I saw you smoking these and knowing me I just have to try one and I did and I'm hooked so I blame you and I thank you <laughs> it's very flavorful it's, it's an Ecuadorian wrapper but it's a double Lajero which means that it's it's made from the first cutting of the top of the tobacco leaf where it's the strongest and then that top then grows again and it's cut again so that's okay. that's where you get the the, the double the hero and those two clippings that are then made into the stogie and it gives it that that really you know good punch so John Piper Jr. thank you very much you've expanded my my knowledge and my enjoyment of smoking cigars but uh, my girlfriend and I had a very good time in Chattanooga and we enjoyed uh, just as equally making those videos that we uh, posted <clears throat> hope you're enjoying them I stayed up till late last night uploading each one of them one by one and uh, I, I got to look through them again and it was it was great it was just uh, Apparently, a lot of you have uh, taken the time to look at them also and post a comment or two, and you all, you've all been very, very nice. Um, <clears throat> so it was uh, my and my girlfriend's pleasure to share this trip with you um, and to take you with us and to show you the sights in and around Chattanooga. It was just an absolute blast. So thank you for. Uh, your, your comments and for sharing the good times with us. Rest assured that when we go on, on trips again, on road trips, uh, both the camcorder and pipe will be firmly in hand. So, thank you once again and enjoy those clips. Now, Ben, back on to some more business. If you recall, about a week and a half to two weeks ago, I made a video that was a makeover pipe video. What it was was that my good friend Steve here at the shop went to a yard sale and bought a pipe rag and maybe like four pairs of estate pipes. <clears throat> and he brought them to, to the shop here and gathered the pipe smokers uh, that frequent here, myself, Mike, and Huss. And, uh, he, he gave them away, one by one. We each took a turn picking a pipe out, and we kept them. And I picked one out in particular that was a billiard, straight stem. It was a good sized bowl. And if you if you recall from that video, uh, the bowl, the, the briar was kind of dull. The inside of the bowl was very caked. And probably the worst part about it was that the stem was very oxidized. It was like a, a brownish green residue on it that was just, I mean, 
I put a, a rubber bit on it, you know, at, at the end so I could smoke it. <clears throat> I tried soaking it in, in rum that night and uh, it just wouldn't take that stain off. So, long story short, I sent the pipe out to be made over. And I sent it to Floyd Norwood of Norwood's Pipes Repairs. Dot com in Tennessee, Clifton, and uh, along with sending the pipe out to him, I looked on his website, got to chatting with him, and I bought one of the pipes that he made, which I showed in last week's uh, Friday Night Pipes clip, um, and I tried to be my MVP of last week, and I've been enjoying that too, I took that to the, uh, uh, took that with me too. Uh, Tennessee this past weekend but I got the old pipe back this afternoon and I've got to tell you uh, Floyd Norwood does some excellent excellent work um, so without further ado remember the before shot of the makeover pipe it was dingy it was stained it was oxidized it was caked up so go back to that vid to get the before shot. But keep watching this vid to see the after shot. This is the old pipe made over. Look at that. The briar is all clean, polished, buffed, shiny. The grain is showing again. The spot carving with the uh, leaves here is just absolutely brilliant. Also, he went ahead and added a nickel band between the shank and, and the stem. And he buffed out the rim of the bowl, where it's not just all black, but it's black along with brown to show off the uh, the shade of the actual bowl itself as well. And the inside has been reamed and cleaned, and it's like new. There's no caking whatsoever. But most impressive is the stem. It's polished as new, clean, jet black, looking absolutely pristine, a few minor, minor, you know, tooth marks, maybe one or two, and they're toward, toward the end right there, I'm not sure if you can see, but I mean it looks absolutely pristine, other than those tiny, tiny flaws and imperfections, it's an absolutely outstanding makeover, refurbishment. Um, Outstanding work. So this is the <clears throat> uh, second of the two-part makeover video of the uh, pipe that was sent off to be re refurbished by Norwood's Pipes Repairs. I hope you like it. Um, just an absolutely fantastic job he did. So there's that. So, guys, I'm back home from Chattanooga. Once again, thank you so much for your kind comments. Uh, my girlfriend and I really appreciated taking you with us in spirit and in video. And uh, it's good to be back with you. So, until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. And remember, I'll present the evidence. But you be the judge. Take care. Thanks. Bye bye. We usually pay them an hourly, and then if the customers are happy, we give them like a 15%.